skin starving and wearing the same hoodie 24 7 we're about to revisit our student glory days with mtv's brand new reality show refreshers week yeah we're sending eight students back to university but it won't be all daytime tv and pizza for breakfast this time as these freshers are about to get taught some savage lessons by our team of special celebrity teaching staff we caught up with refreshers celeb professor and legit essex diva Gemma Collins to talk about putting all that hard work in. If you want to be rich, successful, have it all, live the dream, then you're going to have to put the work in at uni. Being honest, there's no such thing as luck in life. You have to go out there and make it for yourself and put the hard work in. And if you're not prepared to do that, then forget it. Don't waste your time at uni, just go out and get a job. But if you put the hard work in, determination, effort, you could also end up fabulous like me. Ryan Thomas is 2018 Celebrity Big Brother winner. Despite all the drama, Ryan told Emma Willis that he forgives Roxanne Pallet for her false accusations around his play fighting in the house and thinks that she's been punished enough. If she wants sort of forgiveness and it makes her feel better, then, you know, I would rather give her that because I think she's been, you know, punished enough by the public and people around her. Ryan opened up saying that the whole thing scared him. You know, we all know how something like that can stick on a man. Yeah. I just wanted to get out and be with my manager who could maybe protect me because I felt like I was going to be, you know, getting a call from the police very soon. As much as I was scared about this whole experience, I was glad that we had 24 hour surveillance on us yeah. because the point was proven. Yeah. Since leaving the house, Roxanne's admitted that she got the whole thing wrong. Ryan says he's overwhelmed at winning the show and his Cory mum, Eileen Grimshaw, Sue Cleaver, has celebrated the win on Twitter. Love you, Ryan, and Sally is not your mum. <laughs> Thought Parks announced Fright Night 2018 with six new live action scare mazes and Horror Zone, and I'm freaking out already. AMC's The Walking Dead, Do or Die, Vulcan Peak, Terror at Amity High, Big Top Showtime with its, by the way, terrifying unhinged clowns, and a sinister new version of The Blair Witch Maze, situated deep in the woods of the park, are all going to take us back to our primal survival instincts. And to be honest, we're going to lose our Dominic Jones from the parks promised more scares than ever before and says literally nowhere will be safe. <laughs> I don't like it. Frankie Grande has posted an Instagram pic dedicated to Mac Miller. In the caption, he writes, I am beyond heartbroken over Malcolm's death. He was a good friend and was wonderful to my sister. He was the reason I went to the rehabilitation center where I was detoxed safely from all of the drugs and alcohol and medications I was taking, but I couldn't imagine living without them. It was the place where I found the community of support that showed me that living life without drugs was a possibility, and I would never have discovered that if it weren't for Malcolm. Friends, family and fans have been mourning the late rapper both on social media and in person. This week a public vigil was held at Frick Blue Slide Park in Pittsburgh in honour of his debut album Blue Slide Park. Mac's friend Shane Powers also has been setting a few things straight about Ariana's support for Mac, saying she was deeply helpful and effective in keeping Mac sober and helping him get sober and she was all about him being healthy, period, in this area of this life. The comments came after a wave of online abuse on social media, some even blaming Ariana for Mac's death, which is horrendous. As Ariana tweeted in May in response to a tweet implying she was partly responsible for Mac's DUI, I have cared for him and tried to support his sobriety and prayed for his balance for years and always will of course. But shaming slash blaming women for a man's inability to keep his shit together is a very major problem. Let's please stop doing that. Of course, mental health is an incredibly serious issue, but there are other things we should be doing instead of placing blame. We need to destigmatize conversations around it. We need to encourage anyone struggling to get the support they need. And crucially, the government needs to fund more mental health services. If you need support with your mental health, go to mind.co.uk. And for info about addiction and support for getting sober, head to talktofrank.com. Brianna just showed the brand new Savage Times Fenty lingerie collection at New York Fashion Week, and she wins, of course. In a rare occurrence at Fashion Week, the show was actually diverse. Not just the usual, let's throw in a few token models of color and pretend we're super inclusive and woke kind of thing. There were big women, small women, black women, pregnant women, dimply women, short hair, natural hair, no hair, peroxide hair, big boobs, little boobs, all wrapped up in some nice lace that looks both comfortable and practical. Like no one was fixing straps or subtly yanking out wedgies when everyone was moving and dancing 
dancing and writhing around the stage. A nice reminder that bodies are made for more than just gliding down a catwalk to prop up some clothes. It's a welcome celebration of all shapes, sizes and colours, especially when you contrast it with the biggest lingerie show in the world, Victoria's Secret, which sure is a spectacle, but it's also a six foot, slim, hairless, bronze walking billboard for a very narrow beauty ideal. All praise our saviour, Queen Riri.